Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Would you like better performance out of your Pimax headset? I'm going to show you how to do that, coming up next, on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be going over a performance modification for the Pimax headsets. Before we go over this performance mod, I first want to go over and explain to everyone why the Pimax has this performance issue in Microsoft Flight Simulator and other various games and sims. If you have any questions along the way, please post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All the links for today's video will be down in the description, so be sure to check those out. Now, as any Pimax owner knows, to use Pimax for VR, it's always going to open the Steam VR application. That's the problem or the downfall of the Pimax headsets. And that's because we have to run the Pimax headset through the Pi tool first. It then has to go through Steam VR, and then it's going to go into the application or the game sim or whatever you want to call it. So there's several different channels there that the headset kind of has to wiggle through just to show you the image on your screen. So if we can eliminate the hitch point, which is Steam VR, then we can eliminate a lot of stutters and performance issues with all of the Pimax headsets. That being said, I know the next question that most people will have is, well, my Microsoft Flight Simulator version is the Steam version, not the store-bought version. Not to mention all my other games and sims are on the Steam application. So the first thing that we need to know here is that the Steam VR application and Steam are two completely different applications. The Steam application is what holds the program that you're going to be using, and the Steam VR application is the interface between your headset and the game or sim itself. The mod that we're going to be going over today will allow us to bypass the Steam VR application in either the store-bought version of Microsoft Flight Simulator or the Steam-bought version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, as well as many other games and sims that we will go over a little bit later in this episode. So now that we got that out of the way and you understand the difference between Steam VR and Steam, let's get into the modification that's going to fix all of this for us. The developer of the OpenXR Toolkit has also created another fantastic application called the Pimax XR Runtime. This application will allow us to bypass Steam VR completely, thus opening up the performance of our Pimax headsets. Before we go into the download and installation of the application, I did say that this is compatible with many other games and simulators. Now, if you are only using this for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can skip this next part and move right into the download and installation of the tutorial. But if you think you may want to use this for other games or sims, then stay watching the video. Under the compatibility menu, we have two links here, either a compatibility list and the official OpenXR branch of Open Composite. Open Composite is an ancillary program that runs alongside of the Pimax XR runtime to communicate with certain games or sims. But like I said, you do not need the Open Composite application for purposes of running Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what do you need Open Composite for? Great question. To see that, we need to open the compatibility list link above. So let's click on the compatibility list and see what's in here. This will open up the entire list of compatible games and simulators with the Pimax XR Toolkit. Under Microsoft Flight Simulator, if we move over to the right, we can see that it is compatible with Pimax XR. It's also compatible with the OpenXR Toolkit. We do not need Open Composite. And in the PyTool application, we no longer need to check Parallel Projection. So you want to make sure that you have the Parallel Projection box unticked. And this will greatly improve your performance inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If we take a look at some of the other games and simulators that we have here below, some of them do require the need for Open Composite, 
so you just want to refer to this chart for any of your other games and simulators. If you are going to be using this for a game or simulator that does require open composite, then we can click on the link below for the open composite app. Once we do, it'll bring you up on the web page. We're just going to head up here to download, make sure that you have zip, and it will download the zip file for you down in your web browser. Then you can go ahead and unzip that and install that into your PC. But we're not going to go through that today because this is more for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I just wanted to show everyone that this is compatible with many other games and simulators. So now let's move into the download and installation of the Pimax XR Runtime. We can either click on the latest download here, or we can go to the release pages and it will take us to all the releases that are available. Once here, we're just going to head down to the Pimax XR dot msi and we're going to give that a left click once we do the application will download in our web browser we can go ahead and just run that that should be an exe file to install it right on your pc once the application is downloaded and installed on your pc you'll be left with a menu very similar to this one at the top of the application here's where we can choose either our pimax xr or the steam vr for our runtime Make sure that you have checked Pimax XR so that when you launch into virtual reality within Microsoft Flight Simulator, it will no longer open the Steam VR application. Below that, we have the Pimax XR version, and then we have a couple other options that we can check below that. We have the option to recenter our headset on startup, which I do recommend to choose. We also have a swap grip aim poses and they say here that it may fix some incorrect controller orientation. So you can play around with that if you're having issues with your controllers, but for me, I actually didn't use any controllers with this, so I really can't comment on that. Below that, we also have another option for controller emulation. This also says that it may fix some incorrect controller bindings. Under the dropdown, we can either choose the Oculus Touch or the Windows Mixed Reality. I chose the Windows Mixed Reality option as this is a Windows Mixed Reality simulator. But again, I didn't use any controllers when I did my testing. So you will have to do your own testing on your PC. Below that, we have a joystick dead zone. I just left that as default. And we have enable usage telemetry. I also left that checked as default. So now you've finished adjusting all of your settings. What do we do with the tool now? Well, that's a great question. And from here on out, we no longer need to run the Pimax runtime application. The only time we're going to need to open this up in the future is if we want to change any of the settings or click on the downloads to check if there are any future updates. Other than that, you would load into the sim as normal, spawn into your airport, and then launch into VR just as you normally would. There's no need to open the Pimax runtime application from here on out. If you'd like to know all the settings I use for the Pimax in my Pi tool, as well as in Microsoft Flight Simulator, down below in the description, if it's available, I'll have posted my VR tutorial guide for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If anybody has any questions today, please post them down below in the comments section. I'll get right back to you. If the video helped you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.